particularly for staff who've never been subject to this field before, it gives you a excellent synopsis of what quality improvement is, but it also demystifies it. When I've been on these programmes before, it has been very much um, management speaking, management terms, and that can often turn off people. So what it does, it, it tries to demystify that and bring it into, into the everyday environment. It provides a standardised package or um, training package which then allows me to take that back to the organisation and provide a structured approach to delivering training to staff. Change and improvement historically in the NHS has been top down. Quite often it's very much top down and um, directive in its nature. If we can skill our staff and train our staff in quality improvement tools, techniques and methodologies, what it gives is, is our frontline staff with the, uh, with the skill base to then go into their own departments and their, their own systems and say, I can actually make this improvement myself. And it's all about continuous improvement. So it's not about single projects, directive, top-down change. It's about change at a small scale, but continual change. If they've got the skills, if they've got the tools and techniques, they can change their own systems. Often, change is more sustainable and works the best when it's bottom-up rather than top-down. And this gives us the ability long-term, if we scale our staff, to, to deliver that. It sounds silly, but sometimes when we do quality improvement, the patient's not always at the heart of what we do. We often try and change processes and change pathways, A, for what we think the patient wants, or B, what's easiest for staff. What this now does is put the, part, the patient at the heart of improvement. Quality improvement is about patient-centred care. It requires us to think differently, to think everything which we do and everything we change, what would our patient want? What would our patient think if we did this?